welcome back to Mount Vale, server tour. And the very last thing that I have to show you guys is the Mushroom Kingdom. This is my most recent project to date, and I'm going to go ahead and get started on the railway to it, because it's a pretty long ride, because we are indeed heading to the Mushroom Island biome. Found it 100% legit, no cheats, no maps, just literally exploring. Randomly came across it. It was the best thing that I've ever experienced in Minecraft. It was number one on my bucket list. I wanted to be able to find the Mushroom Island biome on my own, legit. I went venturing for weeks and finally stumbled across it and was extremely happy when I did. So of course, I naturally made a portal in the nether all the way out there that led me down this very long tunnel and I eventually hooked it up with some rails that we're riding on right now. It takes about four minutes to ride, give or take, which is pretty fantastic considering it's about six or seven thousand blocks away and the majority of that, probably at least five thousand blocks or so, is just pure devotion. It's so far away, I have no idea how I found it. But I did and so I decided to do something kind of cool with it. Since it is the mushroom island biome, I thought I'd go with the theme of mushrooms and do the Mushroom Kingdom from Mario. So I actually wanted to build the castle, Princess Peach's castle from Mario 64. And so I did. It took me forever. Um, I'll show it to you when we get there. I'm going to time lapse the rest of this. We're approaching our destination here. Making our descent. And here we are. Alright, so we're going to head into this portal here. But before we do, just a little backstory. Um, so, when I was doing the tour of the other guys' houses on the server, you may have noticed those mushroom blocks with a, a chest on top of them. That's actually how I made the announcement to everybody on the server that it was ready and complete and ready to kind of come check out. They knew I was working on it, so it wasn't a surprise what I was working on, but just they had never really seen it until it was completed. So in order to kind of announce what um, the fact that I had finished it, I did it in a little bit of a creative way, and I kept with the mushroom theme, and then I, I gave them a very special letter from a special person. Uh, I'm going to cut right now and actually put that footage in. So I'll show you that right now. So I kind of designed this so that they would kind of walk up to their place, this is Future Flow's place right here, and be like, wait, what's that? There's a giant mushroom where it's not supposed to be. Where did that come from? And I mean, they knew I was working on the mushroom castle from Mario, so they kind of probably had an idea at this point, but they would look inside the chest and be like, oh, Peach's letter. All right. Then when you read it, dear Mario, Please come to the castle. I have baked a cake for you. Yours truly, Princess Toadstool, Peach. So that's exactly how it was worded in the game. Uh, the letter that starts out at the very beginning of the game, and I figured that'd be a cool way, kind of a fun way to show them. Be like, hey, guess what? Finish the castle. Come take a look at it. Trying to be a little creative there. And yeah, so that was pretty much it. So there we have it. I'll put that letter back. And we're back. So yeah, that's how I decided to show them and basically say, it was my way of saying, hey, come on down, it's ready, I want you guys to see it. So they came down here, came through the portal, and on the other side, this is what they saw. And it's nighttime. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep real quick, just to get the full effect. Oh, there it is, you can kinda see it. All right, so they popped out and came out right here. It's kind of like the tunnel. It's my homage to the tunnel, or the little green pipe that you come out from, and looks hopefully relatively familiar. It's not exact, but I did my best. And you come up and feel like Mario, because there's Peach's castle. This took me the greater part of a month or two to really kind of finalize. The interior, the exterior, the landscaping all along the edge. So I've got everything. Um, this is 
the mushroom island biome all alongside the outside of it, but I kind of put walls to separate this from the rest to just delineate the fact that this is the mushroom island biome. And on the outside and on the inside, welcome to the mushroom kingdom. So I got the waterfall over here. And everything kind of, I tried to stay as true to the game as I could. Trying to build all of the hills and everything exactly the same. We've got the beach over here with the cannon. It's got the little iron grate on top of it. Used iron bars for that. And the little lake over here and kind of folds out into the ocean. And then you can kind of see the rest of the mushroom island biome is over there too. But yeah, so move up here. Take a look inside in a minute. I'm going to go over this bridge. And let's go for a swim. So we can hop down in here and swim through just like Mario. And yes, I've even got the door down here. So nothing inside yet. I have a lot of unfinished doors. Um, so there's a lot of room to grow in here, but. I eventually want to try to hook up a different portal in each of the rooms inside and make it kind of like just in the game where you go through uh, the painting in the wall and you end up in a portal which takes you to a quote unquote level and we're gonna start designing levels for different Mario worlds. Um, I think Jolly Roger Bay is going to be one of the first ones that we do. Um, so we're going to basically hook up another portal and uh, take it to an area where we have that kind of recreated. So we've got the grate down here as well. Put some glowstone in because it was really hard to see because uh, it was so far underwater, especially this one over here. So I've got this one down here too with the grate. And yeah, got the waterfall up here. Again, I try to stay true to everything as much as I could. So, and of course, the bridge. And the castle, and yeah, I used mushroom blocks to build the walls because I felt like it just fit thematically, made sense, and the color wasn't too bad either. Uh, kind of, it works. I like it. Uh, this design, I I just designed this myself. I mean, I based it off of pictures, of course, but I went through and I tested it out in Creative, and I built the whole thing there, and worked out all the kinks, and then I just kind of copied what I did in Creative into here. Not literally copied, but like I was switching back and forth between creative mode and and our server just to kind of build it. And it took forever to get all the materials for this thing. That was what really held me back the longest. It's so easy when you're in creative to just design it and just say, oh yeah, I've got it. It's good. But to actually get the materials to build this thing in survival, like vanilla, it, it, that took a while. So yeah, here is the castle. Let's go inside. So we come in here, come through the door, and we've got the same entrance, and the grand reveal, here we go. So yeah, I've got the little sun in the floor, you look up and you've got the glowstone up there to kind of get the same effect. Toad would be right here, right about here, if there was a toad. Uh, I've got a little balcony up here. There should be some coins here, right? <laughs> and I've got this door is locked. And this one's number one. Got the star here. So I I made each one. Right now these just have nothing behind them. I just put glowstone there just to block it off. But these ones over here do. Like the ones up on the balcony. So if you go here into this very first one, just like in the game, this is the first one. Come into this room here, and here we are. So I had to kind of work with the topography of the land, so that's why this isn't exactly to scale inside, but uh, I did my best. So yeah, and if you come through the painting, so we can kind of pull Mario and go, woohoo, jump right through. It actually takes you into the start of the level. And that's where this would be. So this actually takes you out, and we're right next to the original portal over here. But I set it up so that it wouldn't take you to that one, so it would always take you to this one. Um, 
just did the math and made it an exact correlation. And so you're always going to come in and out of the same one here. So if I go back through this one, this is if I'm exiting the level. And in the nether, I'm actually going to eventually make, of course, a tunnel that goes to a location where we're going to actually build the level. Um, so this will be the first one, first world, if you will. And then I have the second one ready to go as well on the other side. So again, this one's not ready over here, but I know this isn't the second one in the game, but I mean, it could be if you want to, but this is Jolly Roger Bay. It's going to be through here. I wish I had a picture of a nice pirate ship, but I just had to put something in here. So you go through this one and yeah, those are cobwebs that hold the painting up and then I've got the portal behind it. So nice effect. And then you come in here and I do have this tunnel ready to go. So I've built the tunnel so far and we're going to figure something out and it just takes us just a short hop over here and you go out this portal and on the other side is where we're going to build the level. Um, so we're going to completely transform it. It's just a, a little island that's off to the side of the, the biome but it has a relatively flat area so we're just going to convert that and make this into Jolly Roger Bay eventually. So not yet. That'll be coming. Those are our plans. And I'm going to head back and we'll explore the rest of the castle. <laughs> right back through here. And you come out of the painting. And you are back. So I did make the rest of the castle too, so we can actually go back here, and we've got this area as well. So same thing, come out on the other side, just like the game, more or less. Go down here, we've got this one, of course not nothing made yet, but I can make each one of these rooms into a portal um, of its own, and each one will have a little tunnel that kind of tunnels off to the side and or we might even make a tunnel just in the nether too or make a make a level in the nether if we could uh, but we'll, we're gonna figure all that out as we go right now we just got the castle up and running and that's it so I'm gonna go down this hallway and out into the courtyard so we've got everything set up here got the little signs I didn't bother to put the wording on it because of course you can't fit as many words on the minecraft sign as you can on there but yeah why did that Pods will disappear. That should grow back. So I've got everything in here. A little fountain in the middle. Here a mushroom. And yeah, that is the courtyard in the back. So I tried to stay as true as I could within the confines of Minecraft. And not get too crazy, but you know, I wanted to be relatively accurate. So hope you like it. And we can kind of back out through here. And we can head out of Peach's Castle. Cross the bridge. And yeah. There it is. So I hope you like it. And uh, let me know what you think. All right. That's about it. That pretty much concludes the tour of the server. Um, I can't really think of anything else right now. We are, of course, going to be adding a lot more in. And I'm going to do some... Um, next videos I'm going to make are actually going to be uh, kind of interviews in a, in a sense, but not really. I'm just going to do the tours of each guy's house and let them kind of show it to you and ask them some questions about it along the way too, about like their process of how they built it and why they built it. And they can show off any contraptions that they've made or anything like that. Just kind of show, show off their places. Because I got to do my perspective on it, but I really want to hear their perspective. Because um, everybody has their own perspective on what they build. And I feel like that's pretty important to kind of explain why you did what you did and how you did it. So we're going to do that next. So look forward to that. And also look forward to hopefully more videos in the future too. Of us just kind of messing around on the server as well. 
So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time.